야, 야, 제가 인트로. I got a new chair. So Blender 2.0, Blender 2.9, point what? Blender 2.92. Hey Siri, search when did Blender 2.92 come out? What did? Oh, November 25th. Yeah, that was like a whole month ago. My bad. <laughs> yeah, so this has been a terrible introduction, but I just wanted to go through like two things that I like about it. How to make the most out of your graphics card and also curve properties. Scrap that entire introduction. I'm talking about 2.91. So sorry. And anytime you've heard 2.92, expunge that from your mind yeah so this article basically opened my eyes to the fact that i've been using blender wrong this whole time okay there's just a lot going on right now okay so i'm just gonna use like a basic um human mesh to demonstrate this so if i don't change any settings and i hold down z and i go to rendered i'm in cycles right now and i'm using the cpu and if you can tell, like this denoising is taking ages. As soon as I move, boom, it's taking ages again. If we want to optimize this, we gotta change some settings. If you change it straight to GPU compute, you'll notice you get the same problem. It's taking ages. Why is that? Why is that happening? Let's have a look in task manager and the problem persists. The CPU is at 100%. And my GPU is chilling at 18. Why would you spend money on a GPU if it's not gonna use it? Okay. And this would mean that when you render this, if you hit F12, it's gonna take eons, like literally eons. Okay, so I'm gonna call it. You can see my point here, it's reached nine minutes. I reckon this scene would probably take 20 minutes to render. Maybe more, maybe 25 minutes. I don't know. Anyway, thank you to Reddit. I figured out that I've been doing it wrong this whole time. So essentially what you want to go to do is go to edit preferences, go to system by default, you're going to be set to none. And you can either go to CUDA or Optic X. Boom. See that? You see that? She's denoising instantly. What? You what? And we'll see how long it takes. Fifty-one seconds, my guy. Fifty-one seconds, as opposed to twenty-five potential minutes. Yes, it's noisy. This is just a demonstration. But my point being, make sure you're making the most out of your GPU, uh, because I haven't. And now I will. <laughs> another, 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 the last thing I want to talk about is beveling and how it is so much better now than it was before. Before, if you wanted to bevel something with a custom bevel, you had to create the object, then create a curve, change that curve size and manipulate it, and then set that curve object as the bevel object. And it was disgusting and awful and, and clunky and it never worked and it looked so bad. So let's insert some text and I'll show you um, why it's so much better now um, in text options <coughs> under geometry <coughs> in geometry I uh, will extrude it a bit and then under bevel go to profile increase the bevel a little bit and essentially now you can like make whatever shape you want the way that beveling works is if you look at the top let's get up close this profile here emulates what you've got here. So if I wanted to, you know, uh, do something like that, I don't know, like you can literally do whatever you want to, but that's an example. You will see that that then shows up on our shape. And before it was so hard to do that and you couldn't really do it, um, but now you can, which I have to guess. Um, you can change the interpolation of the lines and all that jazz, but probably more on this in a more detailed tutorial, but yeah, 2.91 is really, 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 really good. 
make sure you update your blender this is the only update worth updating to yeah okay Bye.